Okay, um, so we just talked about, uh, let me get a new document. We talked about uh, conics from the graph entry edit menu, where they're hidden in equation, which, you know, is a little weird, but it's where they are. Um, the next thing I want to do is look at them in geometry, where they are hiding in shapes. Um, so, for example, we can select ellipse, and what you're going to do is um, click on the two foci, and then a point that's on it. And once you do that, I'm going to press escape to get out of there. And now I can drag the point. It's going to change the conic. Um, I can actually move this around. And here you can see we don't deal with these kinds because uh, math is a little more complicated. But uh, we can rotate the axes now without much issue. Um, one thing that I'm going to do here is it's going to uh, make the screen kind of crowded. But in actions, there's coordinates and equations. So uh, this point, which I will put there. And then this point, which I will put here, and that point, which is on it, I'll put up there. And then finally, I can get the equation, um, but it only gives it in general form. Um, so what I can do now is if I double click on this, I can make it whatever I want. So I'm going to change it to uh, negative four, and I'm going to change this to negative one. This is just, you know, if you're given one of those problems where you're told, a bunch of points and whatnot, uh, you can change it for yourself and kind of create it, um, which is really useful depending on what you're trying to do. So let's say it goes through the point. Uh, and this now I can make uh, one of the vertices if I wanted to. So let's say five, one. Um, and that's nice. You can kind of check what's going on. Um, if I go to geometry and put a point on this thing, Boom. Okay, so the reason I'm putting a different point is because this point's on it, so I can move this without changing the conic. If I move this point, it's going to actually change it. Um, why am I doing that? Well, just so I can do this, I want to measure the length of uh, this to this. And go there. And then from this to this. And go there. Um, and... What's interesting is if you move this, there's something happening with those two distances, or specifically the sum of those two distances, which uh, hopefully you can kind of piece together. Um, hopefully. Um, so uh, let's take a look at some other things. So I'm going to dock four, and I want to insert another one, so another graph here, and just show you the other ones. So. We go to geometry and shapes, that's where they're hiding. Uh, I can make a hyperbola. Actually, let's look at a parabola. Um, so a parabola is the set of all points equidistant from a point. So that's point, the focus. Um, and a line. Um, so what happens here is that it's going, it's actually, it's the point and the vertex is what you're looking at. Um, and uh, curiously, it does not appear to show you the directrix. Uh, I've actually never played with this, so didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, let's see if I can somehow analyze this graph. I don't think it's going to let me analyze the graph and try to get the directrix. Hmm? No? No? Nothing. So that's weird. Um, yeah, not what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting it to show me the directrix, uh, but it doesn't. Anyway, uh, still useful. Still plot our parabolas. And rotate them around so they don't need to be functions, which is important. See what happens when you get closer and farther away. But anyway, uh, that's some of the geometry. You can probably tell that I don't mess around with geometry that much, which is why I was kind of fumbling with some things along the way here. Um, but, you know, they're on your calculator, so you should know how to use them. Uh, and you can make a conic through five points, and then drag those points around and see what happens. It's kind of weird. And, you know, you can just imagine how the eccentricity is dancing around as I move this point. Anyway, uh, I hope you found that somewhat useful. Uh, the geometry stuff is there, and, uh, you know, you should make use of it. Good luck.